good. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's different, but I like it. I like it's the flavor. It's actually not that sweet. Yeah, it's just slightly sweet, right? Mm. So. so imagine the tomato ketchup without the tomatoes. Mm. Mm. It's replaced by bananas. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, I really like this one. That's delicious. Do you see? I eat the marshmallow. <laughs> here and welcome to another episode of Foodie Mama PH and we have here Phil and Maya they're gonna join me on this Filipino birthday theme video apparently we just celebrated a birthdays recently and so I thought of having them experience the Filipino culture of um, doing birthday celebrations we have here three items the most popular items that you will see in birthday parties fiestas whether people are in crisis there's not much food to eat or they're craving for their comfort food they are celebrating birthdays Filipino spaghetti is always always present. So if you come to a Filipino house, our pantries always have the canned foods. We have the frozen hot dogs, the spaghetti. So it's, it's a huge part of our culture. May I ask if you guys have had Filipino food before? Never. Yeah, me neither. Besides adobo. Chicken adobo. Chicken adobo. Mm. Yeah. And you've never had it? No, never had it. Filipino food in general. Like what did you imagine it to look like? Rice. Uh, rice? <laughs> okay, fair enough. I was gonna yeah. say the same thing. That is very rice. true. Okay, rice. Vegetables, I feel like it's just Asian culture in general to have a lot of that. Yes. Jollibee is one that comes to my mind. Fried chicken. So I, I like, missed something out here. Yeah, like, you're missing something right? out. <laughs> Jollibee is like the Filipino's version of McDonald's, but our menu is full of rice. Filipino spaghetti. It is traditionally sweet, not the Italian version. Uh, I'm just telling you, it's Filipino version. I, I just was about to ask because it looks actually similar to the Italian version except like the hot dogs on top. Red hot dogs, this is like an icon in birthday parties because it's meant to be sweet to serve the kids. We cook in huge batch for the family. So if we're having a gathering, we will give our neighbors and the neighbors will usually ask, whose birthday is it? So that's how Filipino culture is. Yeah. Spaghetti, it's like the Americanized Italian version that has been brought to the Philippines. So during the World War II, there's a lot of rations, the canned foods and all those stuff. We didn't have much tomatoes. Yeah. And so we had to make banana ketchup. Wow. And that has to be the main ingredient for the spaghetti and our dipping sauces. So yeah, sweet spaghetti. And we have here the, what we call lumpiang. Shanghai is the Filipino Chinese snack, also always present in every fiestas and birthday parties. We usually dip it in banana ketchup. That's what makes the lumpia Filipino. But if you are more comfortable, we have here the sweet chili sauce with vinegar as well. The filling here is pork, beef, and shrimp, plus the carrots in there as well. I think we have to set up the hot dogs. I didn't know you would eat marshmallows with a hot dog in it. Filipino kids. So cute! Would always go for this. So how is it supposed to look like? You just do that and that's it? I'll give you freedom to... I didn't skewer them very well, but a bit crooked. <laughs> so I put mine like this to make it look like heart shape. Oh, so. oh, wow. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I don't think through stuff. <laughs> Iron Man here can yeah. stick it. So why do Filipinos do this? You know what? I have no idea. Oh. It looks good and it's always the centerpiece in every children's party. Because there's always games to be played. There's like these hanging uh, toys that we have to, you know, jump up and get. Okay, that's yeah. my toy, something like that. It sounds... So much more fun than whatever birthdays I've had as a kid. <laughs> the birthdays that I've had, it's like, okay, we like have a few games here and there, but it's like the normal pinata. Play with your friends with the balloons and stuff, and then sing your birthday song, and that's it. All right, okay, so I think it's time yeah. to dig in. Yeah, I'm really curious, actually. It's gonna be your first Filipino food ever. Ooh. And I'm very into pasta actually, so... Yes. Yeah. And okay. Okay. Taste test. I think you should try without the hot dog first. Okay. okay. So, the meat and the, okay. the pasta. Small bites. Small 
Oh my god, I'm so excited! <laughs> Never tried this before. Sweet pasta. Cheers. Cheers, hold on. <laughs> I don't even know how to do this, guys. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> still rolling. Yeah? It's good. I like it. I like to hear your honest opinion. Yeah, I mean, it's different, but I like it. I like it's the flavor. It's actually not that sweet. Yeah, it's just slightly sweet, right? Mm. So it's not too sweet. I really expected it a little bit more sweet. I thought it was gonna so be like, like dessert style yeah. pasta. <laughs> so it's not too sweet, actually. So I put here some pork and beef as well, so mm. with the hot dogs. I didn't intentionally make it too sweet because I didn't like it like that. Like, uh, um, usually it's way sweeter. Yes, it? it can be way sweeter mm. <laughs> depending on who cooks it, but in my recipe I tried to balance it. I used here a Filipino style sauce and an Italian style sauce, but the Italian Filipino style. This? So I used the Filipino style and the Italian style. This is the sweet style that I didn't use. So. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it will be way more sweeter if I use that. <laughs> huh. Is this from Lucky Plaza as well? Yeah. <laughs> Lucky Plaza, get yours today. <laughs> These sausages remind me of my childhood as well, actually. In Israel, we have something similar. It's good, it's actually not as sweet as I thought it would be. Again. Okay, I'll take one more. <laughs> okay, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> It's almost like spam. Yeah, it reminds me of the, the German, it's called Wieners. Yeah, Wieners. Yeah. It's a little similar. Right? Yeah. yeah. Why is it red? Just for color. I'm your side of Italian, like what type of pastas, what are the flavors? I love pasta in general, so I don't really like focus on a specific area. What I really love is Amatriciana. It's onions, garlic, a little bit bacon, and tomato-based sauce. Really basic, but this is what I really like. And carbonara. Ooh, my favorite. Yeah, yeah with a lot of cheese. Like many restaurants, I think they kind of water it mm. down because Parmesan is quite expensive. Is it? Yeah, so they water it down with I don't know some cream or anything. I usually don't use cream at all. It's the non-Italian style to use cream, right? right yeah, right. that's it. How about you, Maya? Do you cook? <laughs> I'd like to think so. Probably not the most appetizing. Your yeah, cheese board was okay. awesome. Okay. <laughs> guys, cheese what? Guys, cheese boards. Mm. It's not cooking, but, 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 <laughs> bear with me. It's this like super aesthetic platter that I make, right? It's not too bad. It's just like a couple of cheeses. I love truffle, so I buy like truffle, manchego, lots of salamis, prosciuttos. Yeah, it looked beautiful. Like, I was Thank so impressed when it came. Thank you. From the plating king himself. Cheesecakes, yeah. Bass burn cheesecakes are a vibe. Mm, it's a very good. Yeah, I tried thank it. You, thank you. Oh my goodness. What about you? What do you cook? Like, what is your speciality? Since we moved here in Singapore, we used to cook more on the weekends. Mostly Filipino food. If you get it outside, it's gonna be more expensive and you don't exactly get the taste that you're looking for. Mm. So normally, we would cook, yes, adobo. The one you tried is one of our comfort foods and one of the easiest dishes to make. But we have this beef stew, Ooh. which we call beef caldereta. And it's tomato-based stew. Kind of close to beef rendang, minus the spices, with coconut milk. Ooh. Because we don't use spices in Filipino culture. Okay. It's more like savory, sweet, you know, the basic stuff, salty, umami. Super yeah. interesting. Wow, that sounds really delicious though. I've never heard of beef and coconut before, but that's like one of the main ingredients in rendang. Is it? Clearly I don't cook. <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought it was like mostly spices. Actually, yeah, in curries, usually it's like coconut cream or coconut milk. So that yeah. makes sense. It's not Parmesan, right? No. It's Filipino cheese, processed cheddar cheese. Yeah. <laughs> fun yeah, fact, lactose intolerant, even though I make uh, really fun ooh. cheese boards. You just finished the whole bowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for offering the remaining, <laughs> the remaining little yeah, specks of I'm cheese. I'm so generous. <laughs> I actually didn't expect you to enjoy this type of thing. Really? Yeah, because I've always seen your posts, like the way you cook and oh. plate stuff, like <laughs> the king of cooking. <laughs> no, but I love authentic food. So actually, when you texted me, we don't go to this restaurant. We have like real home cooked food. I was quite happy I texted you, right? Yeah. So I love this kind yeah. of food. Like, okay. To try the real culture. Yeah. I'm actually not really into like fine dining. Mm -hmm. I, I really prefer like casual, authentic food. Wholesome man. Yeah. <laughs> I must admit, I do like going out. <laughs> but also, it's nice to try different things, right? 
as you said, like this is like traveling but without the actual travel. Yeah. yeah, that's true. And the best way to learn a culture is through food. Yeah, this is actually how I travel. I don't look for sites, I look for food places. And then I go there and then when there is a site around, okay, I look at it as well. Right? Really? Usually I go for food places and cafes. You're really a legit foodie. How is it with the cheese? Good. Cheddar is actually like cheese to go, right? Like, always have cheddar. This is pure comfort food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On a rainy day. Perfect. After that, I want to try the lumpia. Let's do it. So this is pork, beef and shrimp, you see, right? Yes. Or prawns. Prawns, yes. Yeah. Fair Should enough. Try it? So you're so excited about this. This is the original one, tamis ang hang, sweet and spicy. That one is the hot and spicy. Can we try both? Yeah. Do you like spicy? I do, yeah. Oh, it's very jelly. And sometimes my stomach doesn't like spice. <laughs> so I can take it, but the next day sometimes. Like, mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So imagine the tomato ketchup without the tomatoes. Mm. It's replaced by bananas. Mm. Mm -hmm. no, I really like this one. That's delicious. What, well, like seasoning? Salt and pepper, some paprika, cayenne, a little bit of cajun. Oregano. And what do you use the most like in Filipino to see? Like what herb? It's mostly laurel leaves, which we call bay leaves. That's like the main dried herb that we use. Turmeric, we use it in the southern part of the Philippines because it's nearest to Indonesia. So a lot of Indonesians who have moved there have exposed them to spices and yeah. spicy food. What about these dishes? Are they from a specific region or are they like... You will see this anywhere in the Philippines. Oh. Really? It is a huge part of our history, our culture, colonization from the Chinese migrants who have introduced the lumpia, the spring rolls, to the Spanish-American colonization. This is why we have the pastas and just straight up things that we may do off with what we have. They're really good. Mm -hmm. So for us, it's usually like the basic ingredients would be garlic and onion. So you cook as well? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, we both cook. But I don't play as good. I you don't play? As good. I, I Have you seen his I photos? Nah, okay. <laughs> I heard many times actually I would be the perfect housewife. But <laughs> take You'd it love as, to be, wouldn't you? I, I take it as a compliment. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. okay. He's single by the way guys. He's single, so... <laughs> Philip Nardoza. Hey, this is not a dating <laughs> show, okay? I feel like this is your show today. It's the <laughs> Phil show. Yeah, it's, the Phil show. Yeah, it is. Let's focus on something else. <laughs> There's a lot of Filipinos who would introduce foreigners to balut. It's exotic, it's a delicacy, mm -hmm. and it's an aphrodisiac. Not all Filipinos eat that. I don't introduce that. I mean, I would love watching you try it. Yeah. We mostly eat it at night, but aphrodisiac. The, that's <laughs> why. <laughs> Vendors will just go around the village and balut. <laughs> like that. They will just scream, yeah. and you know, okay, there's balut piping hot. Open it, and then the soup is like. Oh, okay. just want you up. Okay, I need to be more open-minded. You should travel to the Philippines. <laughs> oh, I would love to. After COVID, after COVID. <laughs> Which one? Wieners. Wieners. No wieners. <laughs> Out of the three sauces. I think the spicy one. I like the spicy one. I love spicy sauce. Especially with like spring rolls or like french mm -hmm. fries. Mm. McDonald's french fries with the sweet garlic chili. It's oh, sweet I love that. garlic no, chili? No, no, it's a, just a garlic, garlic chili. Garlic. That's garlic. it. Mm -hmm. so, so this is made out of banana. Yeah. It's not meant to be like as sweet as like a sweet banana, yeah. but because the recipe is like bananas and then the usual ketchup recipe which includes vinegar, sugar, mm -hmm. and spices, present in every Filipino dining tables for dipping sauce mm. or pasta sauce. This is so cute. Happy birthday guys. Happy birthday. Hey, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Still celebrating. <laughs> I think yours is whatever. the wiggly one. The, yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you. you. <laughs> the thank you so what? much, guys. <laughs> so much confidence. Oh. Pick your wieners. The beautiful ones. Wow. Oh, yes. wow. 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 So Phil. Wow. Brilliant. Cheers. Wiener cheers. <laughs> okay, how do we eat this? With the marshmallow. So all together, so, just. Yep. Okay. Just yeah. Do it. So it's um, sweet and salty. 
interesting. Is this strawberry flavored? Yeah. Is that normal to have strawberry flavored marshmallows? It's normal for kids. Yeah. And the color, they like pink, yellow, it compared to the very... white ones. Yeah. <laughs> I love the white ones though. Mm. Just marshmallows on the stick and just roast it. Because it like caramelizes. Yeah. Oh, so good. This is very interesting. Kitty parties always has this and they had to make it because the tradition is gone. Aww. But this is for kids usually, is it? Like <laughs> Yeah, kids and kids at heart. This is so sweet though. It is very uh, cute. Want some hot dogs, honey? Did you even see? I ate a marshmallow. Wow! Because she was trying to feed me. Careful! <laughs> yeah. This one is out. Oh my goodness, she knows how to eat off the stick. That's so cute. How's your yummy face? I told you your yummy face. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see? I eat the marshmallow. <laughs> it's really interesting. The sweet and the salty. Good word. Yeah, it's a good word to describe it because it's not like I don't even know how to describe the taste. What would you describe this? Yeah. Sweet and salty, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's just contrasting flavors. Yeah, she's enjoying it so much. <laughs> what an interesting experience! This is so awesome. Thank you so much for having us. This is so cool to try. Proper, because I've never actually heard about what really sure. Filipinos eat besides adobo, and okay. this is like legit. Any comments on the first Filipino or second Filipino food experience? Winner, winner, winner. That's all I can say. I also would say like this, but in general, like yeah. everything was good. If I had to decide, pick one, I would definitely pick this one. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, everything was really good as well. I totally did not expect the pasta to not be as sweet as like what people say it would yeah. be. Even the sauces, like the fact that it's made out of banana really blows my mind. Yeah. Super cool. That's it guys for today's video. I hope you follow them on the gram as well at Okay. Oh. <laughs> and Maya Davidoff with two beats. <laughs> I'll put their links in the description box below and we'll see you on the next episode here in Singapore. Bye! Bye! Bye. I'm so bougie. My name's Philip Nardotza. It's not Nardotza. Okay. Two American. Is that with this? Yeah. Nardotza. Yeah, rolling. Arr.